Well, made it to base camp today. We're going to pump out the floats and load up the plane and head into the mountains. The sheep hunt's just about to begin. Bad men come good women wrong. Make bastards out of this world. And fools of themselves. They're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped. And left there to rot. All the weeds that they grew are never end. They slave the whole human race, making dollars off our fate, while your hands getting stained. And transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath, or the fool state of mind. But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck, God only knows. First morning. There you go. What did we see yesterday? 14 rams? Yeah, something like that. 14 rams hiking from that knob to here. Plenty. It's time to find the boat one. On that corner. We saw five rams last night. Further up, further up the drainage, and I just spotted two of them a few minutes ago. So we're gonna keep using up the drainage here. But these fingers that go up right here, they just look perfect. So I'm just gonna keep keep looking up on this side. This looks quite perfect for anybody. Right so it's a good day. I don't think a guy could be more excited than I am right now. But I'm about to lose my guy. He must be a quarter mile. Yeah. He's way the hell up there. I'm going to have to catch up to him. So, until then. Had a long day, went clear to the head end of that drainage. Come back, I think we ended up, uh, saw five, five or six rams up there. Not what we were looking for. So we're gonna head out this evening, back down to our camp in the bottom of that basin. Try again tomorrow. He's no daisy, but he can spot sheep. 
just walking out tonight and got a pretty good idea that there's this older ram that we saw we think it was quite a bit older ram and the spotting scope is really hard to tell I think he's clear around the mountain over there and we're gonna try to get around below camp and see if we can spot him for tomorrow but uh, it was a fun day today and it's beautiful country we got rained on a bit up this drainage I think we saw five or six young rams maybe a, a six-year-old was the best um, the one we saw last night down around the corner is a heavy old broom ram chocolate horn so we're gonna go down and see if we can find him again tonight take a look at him well, it's a great day finally the weather's cleared off a bit and uh, we'll be back at it did see one caribou bull this morning and boy he was a just an ancient old warrior there he hit almost no points on tops but on top but he probably had 60 inch main beams big old fronts on him uh, he was just moving fast enough that I couldn't get the camera out in time to take a look at him or show show him on the video but uh, we'll we'll keep an eye out for him in the next few but he's an old bugger that's for sure see a lot of bear sign today but haven't seen a grizzly yet knock on wood I can't still can't believe that I'm and then sheep hunting at Arctic Red today, just two weeks ago, I had no idea that I was going to be here. And uh, I'm a little soft, a little out of shape, but I'm making it through the rocks just fine. Until tomorrow. Looking forward to a mountain house tonight. seen three rams up this drainage here one of them is really tough to tell but he's got really dark horns and he comes down if we can get him to turn his head we'll be able to see if he comes all the way back up over on this ridge we've got two more rams one of them is really heavy and he comes way down but it doesn't look like he comes up very far he's like a heavy old broom ram on that ridge but we're really interested in this one it might it might be a really good sheep Said he's got to be older than your last one, and we can't shoot him. That's right about where we're hoping to get to. Thank you. 
30 seconds ago it was the sun was shining. It was so hot we were beating sweat. Now it's snowing. Well, we just passed them up. Probably a 10 year old. Beautiful I am, but it's day two. Hopefully it's the right choice. Well, we're coming into the end of day three, and um, we've had a pretty awesome day. I think saw um, nine nine rams, one really old ram, uh, boomed off way too far back though. So we passed him, and then a little bit earlier saw a really good caribou, uh, probably 400, maybe maybe a smidge over. Let him go to, but uh, rained on us most of the day. It's clearing off a bit now, and. We've made our way up, I'll turn around a bit here, but we've made our way up into the head end of this really rugged canyon you can see behind me. Back up in there, and we saw one ram way at the top of, well, we can't even see where the ram was from here. And uh, yeah, there's no earthly reason the sheep should have been up there, but he was a young ram, so uh, I was pretty glad that he was young because uh, I, I really didn't want to go up there. Absolutely beautiful country. Uh, we're we're going to head back down behind me there. In a few minutes, my trusty sheep guide is just up the way there, glassing another sheep. Looks like another young ram, I think you can see from here. So I told him, I said, I bet you can't climb that hill. He said, I bet you I can. So I'll bet you four dollars. Well, I guess I owe him four dollars. He just had to go up there and look around the corner. I said, good Christ, man. Even if you see one up there, we can't shoot him. He'll just be a ball of hair and meat when he comes to the bottom. This is some of the most rugged country I've ever seen. My salty sheep guy just had to go, and now, thank God, he's on his way back, and I'm standing here with all his gear. <laughs> Unbelievable day, beautiful, lots of game. Saw one grizzly this morning, patted by camp, and then he's actually right down here at the bottom of the canyon. We'll probably see him on our way out again, but. And this is some beautiful, beautiful country. I'm going to spin around again so you can see behind my head this Crown Valley. Let me see if I can video some of that, some of that stuff. Pretty glad that the, that the rams aren't up in there. It's, it's beautiful. There's no, no other way to describe it. But we've seen lots of sheep in the first, the first three days here. And, I'm thinking pretty hard that I should go back after after that ram I passed yesterday. I, I'm debating on a pretty good night. That's a beautiful ram, so I'll sleep on it tonight. And hopefully, if we decide to go back in there, hopefully he'll be there and we'll get another crack at him. But we'll see. There's lots of caribou around, and we got 
seven days left or so, so <laughs> I couldn't be having more fun. I wish my legs were a little stronger, but that's my only complaint. Morning of day five, just getting ready to have some breakfast and looked right across behind me and there's a bull, nice bull caribou come up on the bench. I'll zoom in on him in a second. And then right there on that knob, right there, that's where that big ram is sleeping and we're going to get ready to go and uh, take a closer look. He is absolutely beautiful. He's tipped out, flares out, comes clear down to his jaw. Oh, it's an exciting morning. Let's see if I can show you this sh caribou. Not quite the bull we're looking for. We've passed up better. We got, we're on day five here. We got five days and hopefully that ram will come first today. Good shot, Cody. I just killed a whopper ram, man. <laughs> that dude is a giant. That dude is a monster. He's big. Let's go see him. <laughs> He's big. Now, the challenge begins. <laughs> it wasn't just hell for Purdy. Oh my God. Well, Kent's behind me here, catching up. He just had to square some stuff in the pack and I couldn't resist, so came along the rocks, found the shelf here, and look what I found underneath the shelf. That right there is one big doll ram. Oh my God. Holy smokes, look at that beautiful sheep. That was a heck of a day.
Hey everyone, Cody here. I just wanted to take a second to say thank you for watching Season 4 of The Mountain Project. And specifically, thanks to The Mountain Project for including me in their short films. I've been privileged to build a friendship with the members of The Mountain Project. And I just really enjoy, uh, as we move through the fall, Chase is calling me on this day. And I'm calling Kevin and Chase on this day. What's happening? Hey, what's Jay doing? And the interaction that those guys are are uh, able to include me in it's really a fantastic situation so i appreciate it i appreciate being part of the team and i certainly appreciate everyone watching uh, the video of my sheep hunt this sheep hunt took place last august and i'll be honest i didn't know i was going sheep hunting until 10 days prior to uh, one of my lifelong best friends is the owner of Out Out arctic red river outfitters and he called me and said, hey, I've got a last minute cancellation. If you can get here in 10 days, let's go sheep hunting. Well, I've got an extremely understanding family and I was able to jump on a plane and get to Arctic Red in 10 days. And we flew out to the same place that I was able to hunt uh, four years prior. We spent 10 days in those mountains only under only one rule. Don't bring me out early. That's the only thing I told them those mountains will just grip you and not let you go and you'll spend every waking moment of your life trying to figure out how to get back and that's what I've done since 2013 but at any rate we made it to the spike camp we hunted sheep like sheep hunters are supposed to on foot in the steep country we saw great big rams just about every day some really old rams broomed off rams uh, lots of banana rams but I we saw an incredible number of old, old sheep. We just didn't find the one that I was really, the, the shape and the configuration that I was really looking for until day, the evening of day four. And uh, when we spotted him, I actually spotted him first and uh, let my guide know, hey, that, that sheep's got a lot of horn. And he was busy doing other things at the time. But when he looked through the spotting scope, he went, holy smokes, that's a tremendous ram. And we, we were able to watch him, watch him bed down, watch him feed. The next morning we did the same thing, watched him until he moved to a place where we could make the stock. And everything worked out perfect, as you saw. Really, a sheep hunt couldn't get better. And uh, I feel like I could be the, the luckiest sheep hunter on the planet. So anyway, we hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed uh, the film. Please feel free to leave some comments. And uh, in the description below, we'll select, we'll select one, uh, the winner, and we'll send out a Mountain Project t-shirt. And uh, enjoy the rest of season four as it, as it unfolds. I know tomorrow, Jay is headed back to Alaska. He's drawn a goat tag on Kodiak Island. And if you've ever been to the Emerald Isle, it's an amazing place to just visit and even a more amazing place to hunt. And I can't wait to follow Jay myself and watch the video of that trip. Thanks again for watching.